And a warm welcome on a fine night for football here at La San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Inter up against Milan. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Inter's lineup is as follows. Matteo Darmian starts alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Romelu Lukaku starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And Milan's lineup looks like this. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Ismael Benassa plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. Martinez! And there it is! The first goal of the semi final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? Strong, well balanced, and skillful. That's a top class finish. get the game restarted can they come up with a coherent answer Sandro Tonali on the ball Rafael Leao Grunic just looking for the right moment for that final pass that was perfectly timed and it is going to be a corner Playing it in. Well, the header needed to be a lot better than that. Didn't really make the keeper work. Di Marco. Chalanoru. Matteo Damian. Well, not hard to read that pass. Rade Krunic. Now, looking dangerous here. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Dumfries. Damian. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Regain possession. Good movement. And let's give credit to the defending. Dumfries. Barella. Now with Vicky Tarian. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Chalhanolu. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Radek Krunic. Tonali with it. Giroud. Sandro Tonali. Oh, terrific pass. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. Dumfries Barella has it now what can Inter do from this position 
Barella. Return to Lukaku. He's lost it. Rade Krunic. Well, that's a super ball over the top. And a goal! Using his head in more ways than one to help the cause. Well, here it is again. The ball over the top is an absolute beauty. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Hendrik Mikitarian. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Lukaku. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Benassa. Rade Krunic. And there we have it. The first half comes to an end here at the San Siro. Second half of this Champions League semi final first leg underway. Well, visionary passing. Just couldn't capitalise there. Dumfries. Martinez. Olivier Giroud. Brahim. Milan moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Diaz. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Breaking at pace. Lukaku. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Is it going to be? Pivotal moment defensively. Olivier Giroud. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. And into the last 30 minutes now. Martinez. Mkhitaryan. Well, Inter unable to retain possession. Sandro Tonali. Benasser. Benasser. And they'll be happy to have regained possession. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, I think a winner's coming here, as do these Inter fans. They're making so much noise now. And foul it is then. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches. Firing it towards goal! And that is a free kick artist at work. What a goal it was! Well, here it is again, and honestly, I can't believe he's taken this on. It's an incredible strike to beat the goalkeeper from that sort of range. 
Could he have done better? I'm not sure. But let's just admire the goal. Stunning free kick. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Alexis Salamakers. Well, the attack looks promising. Krunic. It's a perfect challenge. Lukaku. Di Marco. It needs an accurate cross. Martinez. Is this the moment? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That was miles off target. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Sandro Tonali. The clock is against Milan, but they've got the ability still to hit back. This could square the game, and that is defending of the highest order. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside San Siro. The fans are driving their players on. Surely they can hold on here. Lukaku. Well, nicely cut out. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And possession given away. Brozovic. It's with a Cherby. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Trying to really get at the opposition here. This could finish it! If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And there's the delivery. The final whistle, and job done for Inter. They hold the lead going into the second leg of the tie. Yeah, that was a tight game, and I think they just about deserve their lead, but it's a slender one, and they'll certainly need to defend well in the second leg if they're to reach the final. Well, it truly was a substantial performance from Lautaro Martinez. Stuart, what caught your eye most of all? Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.